What is happening, YouTube? Cowboy here, and this is the Drunk Through build. So as many of you know, for the Dark Souls Drunk Throughs, we always create Biggest Dickus, and he is always a personification of a big, beefy character that usually uses miracles as well as very heavy weapons, and I am so happy with how he turned out in Dark Souls 3. He is a beast on the battlefield, a PvE monster, and on top of that, he can hold his own in PvP as well. So let's show you what makes Biggest the beast that he is. So we are at SL120. The main stats you want to aim for here are the 40 Endurance, 34 Strength, 16 Dex, and then 30 Faith. Uh, we also have 18 Attunement to give us 3 Spell Slots, though you could get away with just 14 Attunement. And on top of that, pretty much everything else we had, we dumped into Vigor. Tried to get that up nice and high so we have plenty of HP because, let's be honest, if you're going to be playing Dark Souls Drunk, chances are you're going to be getting kind of sloppy. So to take a look at the Equipment... The Fashion, the Brigand Hood, Eastern Armor, Brigand Gauntlets, and Eastern Leggings. Now, I was kind of torn between going for the Brigand Hood or the Cell Sword Helm. Ultimately, I chose the Brigand Hood just because I really kind of like the gold trim on it. Um, that also goes well with the Brigand Gauntlets. And then I just feel it kind of comes together very nicely with the Eastern Armor. Whereas the actual Eastern Gauntlets and Eastern Helm didn't really fit with the look all that well. Uh, as for the actual weapons, our primary weapon is a refined Lothric Greatsword plus 10. Definitely a well-kept secret. This thing is awesome. It has the stomp weapon art, and on top of that, it has a good bit of lightning damage. And despite that, we can still buff this baby. So right now, we are at 566 attack power. Right. Just putting on lightning blade, we get up to 701 attack power. Now, if we really want to get buffed up, the actual combination buff, we're going to go Sacred Oath from the Sunlight Sword. Deep Protection. And then Lightning Blade. And that is going to put us... No, I put it away. <laughs> there we go. 821 attack power. A monster, monster weapon for beating even the toughest of enemies. Of course, as you saw, we do have the Sunlight Sword, and this is for a few reasons. Um, one, obviously, it gives us Oath of Sunlight, which is, you know, no reason to not take it in buff form. We can get it with FP. But on top of that, it gives us a nice quick option to finish people off, whereas the Ultra Great Swords are kind of slow for killing people, you know? Um, especially against players. If they, like, your stomp is probably the best way to take out players with an Ultra, but if people just refuse to try and match up to you, the Sunlight Sword gives us a nice option to finish them on off. So, as for the reason behind our stats, um, obviously we need the 16 dex to meet the requirement on the Lothric Greatsword. And we only need 24 strength here, so you're probably wondering, why do we go up to 34 strength? And that is so we can have a Morn's Great Hammer, another wonderful, wonderful strength weapon with a faith requirement. And as you can see, at 34 strength, when we two-hand it, we are able to use it. Now, obviously the reason to bring along a Morn's Great Hammer is if you're drinking and you run into gankers, you want to be able to blow them on up. And it's great at that. But that being said, as for our actual fights, you're going to be much better off with the Lothric Knight Sword. Um, we can't buff this with Lightning Blade. We do get the buffs from Deep Protection and uh, additionally Sacred Oath. But even then, you can see the damage on this isn't all that high. I mean, I know it's only showing 208 right now because the, the values are wonky. But the damage won't really compare to the Lothric Knight Greatsword. We're pretty much bringing this along just as a gank spank option. Um, obviously, anytime we switch to that, uh, you can keep the Havel's Ring on if you're not good at fast swapping, but usually I'll swap between Havel's Ring plus one if I'm running that. Otherwise, I keep on a Hornet Ring just to kill people with the criticals. So as for the other gear, of course, uh, we have a Cleric Sacred Chime plus 10. Because our faith is at 30, this is going to give us the best spell buff possible. Um, if you're going to be running other spells, Sunlight Talisman, also a really cool one to run. And something important to mention is that with this, we have Gentle Prayer, whereas Sunlight Talisman, we have Unfaltering Prayer. And Sunlight Talisman in particular, is really good when it comes to the um, the actual unfaltering prayer because unlike a lot of talismans, the poise boost you get with sunlight talisman is actually higher than the other ones. So while using the L2 to cast with sunlight talisman, you can basically face tank hits while chucking out sunlight spears or whatever else you want to have, which makes it fantastic if people are chasing us around and we want to pop force and knock them off a cliff. So just to show you what I'm talking about, with R1, that's a regular cast, or with uh, L1, excuse me, with L2, we have the Poison Fuse cast, 
which nothing is going to get through. So if there's another spell you want to use, feel free to. I just like having fours because it knocks people down, and that's always funny. Um, but the main things here are obviously making sure you have your buff from your Sunlight Sword, Deep Protection, and then Lightning Blade for our weapons. You can also put all three of these buffs together on the Sunlight Sword as well to get damage. Now, one other thing I do want to make mention of before we go into the rings is the order of buffing. So real fast, just to look at our attack damage, you can see we're 566. Now, if we are to do the buff with Sunlight Sword by two-handing it and hitting L2. You can see we are now at 631. Now we're going to cast Deep Protection and then take a look at the buff here. And you can see we go up to 663. Now, on the other hand, if we are to try and recast this, you can see we'll go down to 631. And the point I'm trying to make here is that when we're casting our buffs, always do Sacred Oath first with the Sunlight Sword, and then do Deep Protection, not the other way around, because casting Deep Protection and then Sunlight Oath will overwrite Deep Protection. Uh, as for the ring choices, pretty standard loadout here. Chloranthi plus one, Ring of Favor plus one, and then also Prisoner's Chain. And um, you could get something else instead of Prisoner's Chain, but I really wanted to have the 40 Endurance, considering I'm working with an Ultra Greatsword. And then on top of that, because of the fashion, um, you know, and running a fairly heavy weapon, I needed the extra vitality. And the Vigor, of course, always comes in good. As for our last ring slot, I like the Hornet Ring, just because Hornet Ring, along with an Ultra Greatsword, is basically always going to be a one-shot kill. Um, obviously, if we're switching to Morns, pulling out the Havels to give yourself some extra weight. The last thing, of course, is a simple Kystus, and the main reason for that is to make sure we have enough FP to do either Stomp, do our Sacred Oath, or do the uh, Morn's Range, which will allow us to one-shot various enemies with huge AoE potential. So, as the Drunk Through is a uh, primarily PvE thing, we are going to actually fly through this area, and then we're going to take down that Consumed King. Alright, so... You guys are probably wondering why we went and edited. And um, in true drunk through fashion, I decided that this is, after all, biggest fucking diggus. And as such, I should be intoxicated while recording this. So I went out. I got some dinner. Look at this bitch with this fucking shield. Get out of here. Whoop your ass. Look at that fucking damage. Well, I went out, I uh, got dinner, and then after dinner, I decided I'd come home and I'd record the PvE part then. Uh, so I went, I unlocked the shortcut. We're going to go that way to save some time. Look at these two guys, watch this. They're just going to fucking wreck them both. Look at that damage! And that's why this is such a good build for drunk people. It just smashes. Like, that guy thinks he's getting away? No! You don't get away. Nobody gets away. Uh, rolling. Boom. Epic damage. So I thought about doing a webcam thing and like drinking while I was doing it. Because I'm sure there's going to be a couple of stupid fucking kids that are like, uh, Cowboy, you're not even drinking probably. You're sober. And to anybody that says that, I have two things to say. First is go fuck yourself. Second is if you had ever shown up to a single one of my streams you would know that I don't mess around when it comes to drinking. So anyway, uh, we're gonna kill this thing. Look at that. Didn't even need a buff. All right, I gotta kill one of the Abyss things because those things are scary. Everyone thinks those things are scary. I think those things are scary. But the trick to those is you use fire bombs. As long as you do fire damage to them, they become like semi-retarded. And then you just beast mode the shit out of him. Get a heavy attack in. Oh no! Please stop! It should have been dead. And you know what? If I had all my buffs on, it would have been dead. Just goes to show you how powerful this can be when you're buffed properly. Yeah, I want this a chunk. No, it's pine resin. Alright. Um, we gotta kill the knights. God, I hate these things. These guys are so fucking strong. Alright, we pissed it off. Let's buff up. Let's buff up. Because I don't want to try and take this thing down half-cocked. Um, so I was talking earlier about using... Uh, um, 
clerics over sunlight. And with that, um, the, the spell buff spell buff only affects your lightning blade. It doesn't affect the other stuff. God, why are you so mean? Stop that, you fucking dick! Holy shit! Look at that. We're just going to trade hits with him and we'll take him down. Now for the big one. There we go. Ow, oh my god, that was like all of my health. Wow. 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 Why are you so scary? And what sucks about these guys is you can't even like... Like his kick just did so much damage. Why is that a thing? But we still beat him. Give me that ring. So typically, for uh, the drunk through, we always summon. We're not gonna summon because this is a build video, and so I shouldn't summon. Unless there's a sign, then I might summon. I mean, I only had like five IPAs in two hours. I shouldn't be that fucked up, but I feel pretty good right now. All right. I think we can do this. We got like half of our Estus. Half is enough. Let's do this. Oh boy. Look at that. Look at that damage. Those are just R1s. Let's give him a good old R2. Oh, yeah! Oh, do you like that? Awesome. You can also block with this. It's not the best, but you can. Less than ideal blocking, but it works. Ow, that was supposed to be a charged R2. Why is he? Oh God, he's so chaotic. I can't hit him. This is bad. Wow, he is. I don't remember him being like this. Maybe they patched him. Wow, and then he killed me. So that's okay. That's part of playing the game drunk. That's just what happens. But this time he's going to die. We're going to just run past that cunt face knight that has. Uh, Invincible poise, even though we don't have poise. Thanks from Soft for breaking poise. And um, we're gonna kill him without any trouble. You see, you don't, like, if you can kill everything in your first go after drinking, that's. Well, then you haven't had enough to drink, is what I'm trying to say. And I should probably take off my, my ring, because I don't, I'm not getting criticals against this boss. I don't have any other rings to really use. Um, no, oh yeah, magic stone plate. Yeah, I'll put that on. Yeah, fuck him and his magic damage. This is probably this is probably gonna look. I don't know if this is just gonna look sloppy, or what it's gonna seem. It's probably gonna seem like a sloppy thing to do for a build video, but I mean, I was all like. <laughs> talking proper and welcome to the video guys today we're gonna look at blah 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 and I don't want to do that not for biggest 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 deserves better than that fuck off knight I really like that sword too cathedral knight great sword that's another really cool weapon that'll probably be in a build in the future just because it's badass is he gonna follow me I really hope he's not oh boy he is yes he is oh you can fuck off sir Oh god, no, not the, the stuff. The magic stuff. Are you hiding from me? Come you a child of so there's actually a lot of like really cool theories about this guy. Like, 
is is the child is he actually like I mean obviously he's blind he doesn't have eyes but is he yelling about a, a uh, does he just think his kids there or or could it be that the kids invisible kind of how Priscilla is in Dark Souls because it's part dragon which I think that's a really cool theory So for whatever reason, R2s just do tons of fucking damage with Ultra Great Swords. So just do lots of R2s. Um, if buffs fall off, the most important thing to get back up is Lightning Blade. Everything else you can live without Lightning Blade, re-enchant that. That's that's your big damager. Out of all, remember like when we were looking at, I think we were looking at AR when I recorded the like, this is the drunk through build. Uh, but yeah, definitely, definitely keep Lightning Blade up, because that's going to let you fuck shit up. Come on, you ugly cunt. You look like a wrinkled old ball sack. Come here. Yeah, you're fucking dead! And then obviously, praise the fuck out of that son, because you just beat the boss drunk. So that's how you do stuff. Uh, with the drunk through build. Yeah, you just kill bosses, put on a bunch of buffs and beat the shit out of them, and then get a bunch of souls that you don't want to spend because you're already 120. But then again, if, if you know, you're really playing a drunk build, you just don't give a fuck. So go on, spend the souls, and do whatever you want. Either way, um, let's show you guys some PvP with a cool song. <laughs> 